Hi everybody! I have class this morning so I'm going to be heading to campus in just a bit. I have comp sci today and I also have a logic lecture. But yeah, I'm going to head to school and I will see you in class. This is your error message and warning message in the computer. But sometimes... In computer store fractional cases, we discard 0.4 long. We discard everything. They lost information. Alright, let's look for the tunnel. Let's call it a day. First of all, I just want to warn you guys that you will see me wear this zip up for like literally the whole video I promise I didn't wear this jacket every day for like a week straight It just so happened that all the days I was filming I was wearing this jacket But I do have other things in my closet <laughs> Anyways, I went to the library during my break after my lecture I definitely learned my lesson last semester when I didn't take these computer science courses seriously So this semester I'm trying to be a lot more cautious and smart about how I spend my time at school I think for me I'm pretty lucky because my friends breaks don't really line up up with mine so i'm kind of forced to be alone during my break time for me in this day and age i see that as a good thing because that kind of forces me to do something productive my options are either to study or to waste my time scrolling on instagram but these days i've been pretty good about making the more productive choice of studying back home now from class. I went straight home like right after my logic lecture. I just ate and I'm going to do some work for both of my math classes. So I'm going to do some work for linear algebra and I'm going to do some work for discrete math. My issue with linear algebra last semester was that every week we have a weekly assignment and my issue was that I always left it to the last minute. This semester I'm trying to not do that and I'm trying to finish everything by Friday because they're due on Sunday and I'm like if I get it done by Friday then I don't have to worry about doing it last minute that'll also help me because i also have an assignment for discrete math that's due on sunday as well so i want to get my linear algebra assignment out of the way luckily i did work on it throughout the week so i only have like four problems left maybe even three because i think i finished one during my lunch yeah even though my classes are done the work is not so that is what i'm gonna do right now For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a first year computer science student, but this is actually my second degree, so technically this is my fifth year in school. I know, I'm I'm pretty old. <laughs> You'd think that I know what I'm doing by now, like knowing how to efficiently study, manage my time, etc, but honestly, I still have a lot to learn. There are literally people in my classes who are definitely a lot more younger than me, but are also a lot smarter than me, so I have a lot to take note from them too. My first degree is in sociology 
so it was a lot of reading and writing which i like to think i'm naturally pretty good at so going into computer science which is a lot of application logic and theory was and still is a really really big challenge for me this just goes to say that even though you may be an expert in one area it doesn't mean that those same skills can apply in another field so it's taken me a while to accept and understand the fact that the way i used to study for sociology classes definitely does not work for me in the computer science context hilarious so basically my plan right now is like to do my discrete math assignment and to start it because that assignment is due next week so i wanted to get a head start i just wanted to start the assignment so that i don't leave it to the last minute and i didn't realize that for the past like i don't know like 20 minutes i've been doing the exercise problems which is not the assignment <laughs> I was doing them and I was like, oh, this is so, this is so simple. I was like, this is really oddly easy to be the assignment. I feel like the assignment shouldn't be this easy, but I was like, whatever. And I kept doing the questions. And then when I like moved the PDF around to like see the next question, that's when I realized that the title says exercises and not assignment. So yeah, I still have to start the assignment, <laughs> but I guess I got some extra truth table practice. Oh, my brain is like starting to falter now. It's crazy. It's crazy. Good morning, everyone. I am at school today to study. So I'm just heading up to the silent floor of the library and I'm going to do some work for math. I just finished the tutorial, so I'm just going to spend my extra time studying. Even though I consider myself as a sort of noob when it comes to studying computer science, something that's really helped me nowadays is the art of writing things down. I know it sounds super trivial or like a duh type of thing, but I honestly never did this when I was in sociology. In sociology, I used to just try to memorize things and a lot of it was like writing essays so I would be able to have a source kind of on the screen next to me and I wouldn't really have to think about it too much. But now whether it's planning for my coding assignment or understanding a theory for math or literally just doing like math homework, if there's one thing that's giving me a slight edge over my study methods last semester, it's literally writing down my thoughts. This semester, my professors are actually emphasizing the act of writing down what you think, even if it's a small thing. I think that might be because I am taking two math courses right now, but especially my discrete math prof, he is always like, you need to write down your thoughts so that you can better be able to clearly understand what you're about to do. But anyways, it seems so unnecessary to write down things you already know, but honestly, this was something that I never used to do, but has been really helping me now. And there must be some science behind writing stuff down. In terms of understanding concepts, I'm a lot better at it this semester than last semester. I'm gonna get some bubble tea. 